بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم مائی نیم از انجینئر وقاص ہرون ٹوڈے دا ٹاپک از اباؤٹ دی ورٹیکل کرو ڈیزائن ود دا کے ویلیوز آئی ول ٹرائی ٹو انسٹرکٹ دس ٹاپک بائی سالونگ دا نمیریکل پرابلم لیٹ اسٹارٹ دی ٹاپک بفور اسٹارٹنگ آئی وانٹ ٹو ٹیل یو دیٹ دس ایگزامپل ہیز بین ٹیکن from the chapter 3 geometric design of highways book name principle of the highway engineering and traffic analysis written by fred l mandring so let's start the example in this example a curve has initial and final grades of the plus 3 and minus 4 percent respectively and is 700 feet long the pvc is at elevation 100 feet Graph the vertical curve elevations and the slope of the curve against the length of the curve. Compute the k-value and use it to locate the higher point of the curve, distance from the PVC. So we have four parameters that are given in this example. That is initial grade, that is 3%, final grade, that is 4 per, minus 4%, length of the curve, that is 700 feet, and the elevation of the PVC that is 100 feet and you have to find out the elevations and the slope values of the vertical curve for the graphical representation and after this the k value then you will use this k value to determine the highest point of the curve the highest point means you have uh, that in this case there is a say uh, there is a crust curve In our example, initial grade G1 is given which is also denoted by coefficient B. Final grade G2 is given that is minus 4 percentage. Length of the curve is given that is 700 feet or 7th station. Uh, uh, initial grade and the final grade is given so you can also calculate the coefficient value A that is the half of the difference between the two grades that is g2 minus g1 divided by 2l in this equation the value of the g2 is minus 4 and the value of g1 is plus 3 so the difference between the two grades is minus 7 you will and the value of the l is 7 so after solving that equation the coefficient value a is minus 0.5 elevation of the pvc is denoted by small c that is 100 feet and you have to calculate the elevations of the vertical curve it means small y then slope of the curve it is denoted by dy by dx and then k values and the highest point of the curve from the pvc it means you have to calculate the position of this highest point you can also denote the position uh, um, uh, you can say that in previous uh, examples you have also calculated it uh, by using the uh, in a form of x it means you have calculated this value in a form of x already calculated in your previous examples so let's start the parabolic equation used to determine the curve elevation is y is equals to ax square plus bx plus c so it means you can directly calculate the elevations of the vertical curve by using that equation y is equals to ax square plus bx plus c in this example the value of a b c is already given and just simply you have to put the value of the x in that equation how can you put the value of x in that equation uh, as you know that uh, there um, um, you should know that what uh, what should be the value of the x in that equation for example uh, elevation of the pvc is given it means that the value uh, at the uh, pvc uh, where the uh, at pvc point the value of x is should be equal to 0 and the length of the curve is given it means that the value of pvt is also given um, it means uh, at uh, pvt point the value of x should be 700 feet so you can say that the value of x is 0 at pvc point and the value of x is 700 foot at pvt point so the next point is you will calculate all the values or all the elevations point on uh, by you uh, uh, by putting the value of x so, uh, so you will calculate all the elevations by putting the value of x at suitable intervals that means you will calculate all the elevations at all the stations for example 
there is uh, there is uh, the curve length is 700 feet so first of all you will put the value of x is 0 then you will put the value of x is equals to one station or 100 feet then two stations or 200 feet then three stations or 300 feet then four stations or 400 feet five stations or 500 feet similarly you will go on how you can calculate the slope of the curve you can calculate the slope of the curve by taking the derivative of the above equation that is dy by dx is equal to 2ax plus b simply putting the value of b or uh, putting the value of x in that equation you can cal directly calculate the slope of your vertical curve and how can you calculate the k value before starting the k value you should know the, what is the k value k value is the horizontal distance in feet required to affect a 1% change in the slope of the vertical curve or you can say that k values have an important application in the design of the vertical curve k values give the length of the curve required to affect a 1% change in the slope it can be also used to determine the highest or the lowest point locations of the vertical curve mathematically it can be written as k is equals to l divided by a it means that you should first of all calculate the value of k and on the basis of the k value you will calculate the distance interval from the starting point so first of all we will calculate our elevations we will start the value of the x from 0 to 700 feet at the point uh, where the x is 0 it means it is talking about the elevation of that point elevation of the pvc is already given that is 100 feet and then you will put the value of x is equals to 100 in above equation a already given b value is already given and the c value is already given you will directly put the value of 100 in, in that equation and you will get the answer 102.5 and on the stationing 2 or the 200 feet from the pvc point you will get the elevation value of 104 feet at the stationing 300 at the station 3 or the distance uh, of the curve from your pvc point or you can say that the distance of x from your pvc from pvc point is 300 when the distance is 300 you will get 104.50 feet and when the distance of pvc point is 400 you will get the value of elevation 404.5 Similarly, at 500 feet and on 600 feet and on 700 feet, you will get these values. By getting these all that values, you can see that you will you have now you have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You have eight elevations values, and you can uh, select one of that value which is the highest value, and you can easily say that. Uh, 104.50 is the highest value in all these elevations values so how can you uh, for example uh, you have uh, calculated all the elevations but uh, the question is when there are no elevation values how can you calculate uh, this stationing point 300 how will you calculate this point or you can directly calculate this value so, uh, how can you direct uh, how can you check that value where the elevations occurs at the maximum values so you can check that value by taking the derivative of the above equation you will take the derivative of the parabolic equation and where the slope of the curve is zero you can say that where the slope of the curve is zero that uh, the highest point or the lowest point should occur at that point that means by taking uh, the derivative of that equation uh, so you can uh, first of all we will calculate the slope where the uh, slope of the equation will be zero starting from the zero x value zero you will get the value of the slope three then you will put the value of 100 you will get the slope value 2 then you will put the value 200 you will get the slope value 1 and you will put the value of 300 you will get the value of slope 0 similarly up to 700 you will get the different slope values so you can see that where the slope of the value of the 0 it means that your highest point should be located at this means at this point it means that the point number 3 or the station 3 sh has, uh, the maximum your elevation should be located at this point and this 300 station should be located at 
or you can say that this point should be located at 300 feet from your PVC point. Here is a summary sheet of your question. So you can see that by putting the value of the station 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and you will simply convert your stationing into feet 0, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700. Uh, you, um, you can easily calculate your curve elevations by putting the value of f that x in that equation y is equal to ax here plus bx plus c. These all values I have already calculated in our previous slides. I have just simply uh, put that values in that column. Slope of the curve is already calculated in our previous slide. You can easily, uh, um, I have just placed that values in that column. You can see that where the slope of the curve is zero, the maximum elevation point occurs at that. That is 104.5 feet elevation. So it means where the slope of the curve is zero, your highest point will be located at that stationing. You will put that equation or all the values in a figure. So that is our required. We want to plot all the values in that graph. So we have two curves. First curve is represented by blue line and the next curve is represented by the orange line. Blue line represents the curve elevation. So you can see that we're at the distance from the PVC, your curve value is 100 and at the st station point 1 or the 100 feet, its value is 102.5. Similarly, at 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700. Or you can see that on your graph, your maximum L curve elevation value 104.5 is located at a distance 300 feet. Curve elevation has represented on y axis, or you can say that it has been plotted on primary axis. Slope of the curve has been plotted on secondary axis that is on the right hand side of the graph. In this graph you can see that the figure shows the constant rate of the change of the slope of the curve. Or you can see that the circular points on the slope of the curve line correspond to the change in grade of 1% that is starting from 3, 2, 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. And these points occur at an equal interval that is 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700. This indicates that there should be a change in grade of 1% for every 100 foot of the curve length measured in the horizontal plane. Now we will calculate how can uh, we calculate the highest point from the PVC. We can calculate the highest point from the PVC by using the K formula. We can uh, use that equation x h is equals to K multiplied by the initial grade. So the point is how can you calculate the value of the K? You can calculate this K value by using equation C. K is equals to L divided by A. L divided by A means that L is the length of the curve. A is the absolute value of the difference of the two grades. Difference of the two grades means that you should use this positive value in all the cases. So in our example, G1 minus G2, our value is 7. And the length of the curve is 700 K is equals to 100 feet. So this has been shown in previous figure. You can say that where the slope of the curve at 300 feet is zero, the same result obtained by setting the derivative of the parabolic equation equal to zero and for solving for the x. The k value gives you horizontal distance. That is x x is equal to k multiplied by gn. The value of the k is 100 or the value of the initial grade is 3. x x is equal to 300 feet. So you can say that the k values give the horizontal distance required to affect a 1% change in the slope of the curve. And for this curve, this value is 100. Thus, to go from an initial grade of 3% to a grade of 0%, the highest point require a horizontal distance equal to the 300 feet.